So I've been flying since I was fairly young. Being a family business, of course, I've always been in helicopters. Naturally, you're interested in what your parents are interested in. For me, flying was just very normal. It was, the helicopter was just something you had um, on the farm at that point. I've always seen my dad fly, and of course, dad always made it look very easy. Me and my brother both always sort of strive to try and be more like our father, I guess. I remember I took a critically ill uh, person on what was supposed to be the sort of the flight of his, his life or sort of a last dying wish and we were up around the glaciers landing in all these incredible places basically giving him the, the time of his life. But you can't help but smile and yeah, it is just amazing and you never get sick of it. Some of the most memorable moments has been when you take people places that they've only ever seen in postcards. One of them's the Apple computer's backdrop. people get up there, it's quite incredible that they sort of are seeing what they've only ever seen on a computer screen. Sometimes we take people up and they've never touched snow before and to see them handling snow is, is quite amazing. It's something some of them have dreamt of their whole life. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give it a like. It really helps out with the algorithm. So here's a little bit more about the shoot. So we had been chatting with this helicopter company and going back and forth for quite some time. And we were really excited about this because we'd been trying to make this helicopter video happen for some time. But when it came down to it, our schedules just weren't lining up and we thought we were gonna to have to leave New Zealand without actually filming this shoot. Then about 24 hours before we were due to be filming, the schedules lined up and we actually had availability and so did the helicopter company. So that morning we rushed over there pretty early, started shooting. We weren't really sure how we wanted to tell the story or who we wanted to have as our main protagonist. So we wanted to tell the story of the brand, but we weren't sure if we were going to center on the brand and what that brand meant, or if we were gonna have one of the people who ran it really tell that story. So we had two people as our subjects that we were gonna choose either the owner of the business who was a bit older or the owner's son. So we ended up choosing the owner's son because he was a really strong character. Um, he had some really interesting stories to tell and I really wanted to kind of tell the story of what it means to be kind of following in your father's footsteps. I thought that was a really interesting way of doing it. So we essentially filmed an interview in about 30 minutes 
I've got a whole bunch of B-roll of people getting into helicopters, cleaning, etc. Some exterior shots of the outside hangar. And then I really wanted to be able to introduce, uh, you know, where that hangar is. So I had uh, the character walk up to the doors, open everything up, really pretend that this was kind of like an average day in his life. And we were just there to film that. Because we weren't sure if the shoot was even gonna go ahead at all, we didn't actually have gimbals for the cameras. And so if you've ever done filming on a camera in some pretty rocky and shaky situations, you're gonna know that basically anytime your camera's shaking, you're gonna be getting unusable footage. So to really get around that, most of the shots that you see of the helicopter going in front of you know, a mountain or anything like that, a landing, is actually uh, the drone that we had, Phantom 4 Pro drone. So we were really just holding that, shooting, from one helicopter shooting the other helicopter flying around. So it's not really ideal because the Phantom 4 Pro, in my opinion, is a pretty crappy kind of image quality. I'm not really that impressed with it. Even when it came out, I didn't think it was that great. So to make those shots of us hanging out the helicopter with um, a drone pointing it at the other helicopter, we requested for the doors to be taken off the helicopters so we could really just have unobstructed views instead of you know shooting through a tiny little window and you can see the outline in the frame of the helicopter. So the shoot went really well. I think we pulled it together and really for around about a half day shoot, I think we had a pretty amazing result. So one of the really cool things about this was um, we were actually landing on a glacier. So I know a lot of people in other countries, especially countries that have really awesome winters like America and Canada and that kind of thing, snow is not really a big deal and neither are mountains but for Australian people, uh, we don't really have that many mountains with snow. So anytime that we get to land a helicopter on top of a mountain and jump out onto a glacier is pretty you know, awesome. And one of the things that the pilots were saying was, you know, guys, we fly on top of this glacier all the time. Um, at a certain point, it is safe where we're gonna be landing, but any footsteps that you take beyond that safe zone, you may take a step and you may fall down a crevasse that's opened up that we don't know about. So you need to be really careful when you're filming, you know, like don't just be holding your camera and looking through your viewfinder and then you're walking backwards and you fall off. He said basically the chance of us being able to rescue you or even call in a chopper and rescue you is quite low. So you just have to be really careful. So I guess the main thing from the shoot was that the client was really stoked. They were really happy with the final result. They've actually had other companies come out and do similar shoots with them. And uh, another production company actually rented um, a helicopter with the proper stabilized uh, camera and lens and gyro system, which is like, you know, $500,000 or something rather to get these amazing shots of the helicopter swooping in and all that kind of stuff. And I think we really focused on more of the story side of things and giving you a tiny little insight into their personalities and that kind of thing. So if you like this one, please do hit like. Obviously it really helps with the algorithm and it's gonna help me out massively. I also just wanted to say a big thank you for anyone who's supported me so far, anyone who's subscribed. Uh, we're almost at, we've just hit 2000 subscribers which is really exciting for me. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and I appreciate the support.